Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of the Tanch Gym Ola. And yeah, straight into it, so full disclaimers, this is sent out to me by HiFigo. So thank you very much, I do appreciate it. I was not paid to do this video and all thoughts, opinions are my own. And yeah, I, the weeb kind of look uh, is not my thing, but I know this attracts um, you know a good fan base these days. And this uses a single dynamic driver, which I normally do like. And yeah, let's just get into it. So just a closer look at what it is. So obviously, you can see the little image there, which is kind of cool. Obviously, I have to say like, thanks again to HiFogo for sending it out. So that's a rough frequency response graph. Obviously, we all see what it's like when we get to it. So it's a 10 millimeter dynamic driver, uses a DMT3 diaphragm. We all see what that's like. Uh, graphene seismic film that sounds like an sounds like an earthquake thd numbers impedance 16 ohm uh, 126 decibel sensitivity uh, a sneak peek i've already tried these and they are easy to power frequency response 7 hertz to 45,000 kilohertz which is a massive range the 3.5 millimeter cable 0.7 uh 8 millimeter Two, two pin so it's normal kind of two pin cable 1.25 which is a good length cabin material is a lit single crystal copper silver plated cable oxygen free manufacturing and so there's the address information and also it came with this which is a, looks like a postcards or something if you need that so that's the normal kind of branding nothing on the back Ola, so please use the earplug carefully to avoid irreversible damage caused by bumping or falling from a height. So basically just look after it. Yeah, these are really small. So it's just basically <laughs> just bigger than the actual driver. And that's the angle itself. Yeah, these are uh, much smaller than I expected. Something about them reminds me of the... Uh, the tench team Cora I did a, a little while ago. So let's have a good look. So that's it, not much to say really. Two pin, which is good. And yeah, so that's it really. Cable down there, let's have a look. Seems pretty good. Obviously no microphone, which is what I do like. So they are two pin, they are quite long, the pins. Obviously that one's got there. It's in the right direction. As you can see there, the blue. But yeah, it looks a good cable. Looks kind of thin, but looks looks all right. So it should come with, um, obviously a carry pouch and two lots of tips from memory. So, Quite a few goodies. It's kind of minimalistic, but it's not too bad. So yes, yeah, small, medium, large. Differences are basically the top ones are wider ball. These are smaller ball. Certificate of, I guess, QC. Warranty card. Quick guide. Manual there. In a few different languages, just the specs, which is just what it says on the box. Pouch, tanched him. Seems uh, pretty good. That's the inside. Seems okay. Just the how to wear them, kind of common sense. Yeah, you connect them, pay attention to left or right. Just the different tips, choose the ones that fit your own ear canal. Just kind of common sense, and that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put put a few more hours on these. Obviously, I'll graph them as per usual. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the future. So, yeah, so straight on to the view of the Tanch Gym Ola. Here's a better look of them, as you can see there. Uh, all plastic construction. Build quality seems fine, there's nothing really amazing. Obviously you can tell from how the manufacturer been an all plastic model. Obviously it's uh, more affordable, which means it's more affordable for people to buy. These are around the $40 region, 
so it's not too bad at all and yes yeah, just straight on to comfort now as they're so small i personally tried these i didn't really have any issues but a friend of mine tried them and he didn't like them at all and he's used a bunch of iems in his life and he says he didn't like these um i can understand that because they are a really kind of weird fit so it would probably be fine for others and not fine for others so it's just yet yeah, your mileage may vary with the fit in your ears you have to bear that in mind but i was okay my friend wasn't then the next person who ever tries it might not like it the next person might so it's quite obviously quite personalized to how it fits but yeah these um yeah whoops if it's a focus but yeah a bit different so yeah your mileage may vary with the comfort so let's get on to power and sensitivity i found these quite easy to power um i don't think it's as sensitive as the specs dictate but it's it's not too bad. If you have anything lower power, sh shouldn't really be um, kind of a big deal, really. I had no issues. Um, stage, I didn't think the stage very big. It feels not claustrophobic, but it didn't feel very big. More kind of closed in. Um, it's okay though. Again, these are IEMs. They're not headphones. You have to bear that in mind. So let's talk about um, technical performance. I found it average at best uh, it wasn't terrible but it wasn't great kind of in the middle again these are full ish dollar kind of im so it's you know they're not flagships or nothing like that and the uh, same for the tonality tonality was average single dd always helps compared to like bas which can sound of artificial but yeah so yeah keep it short and sweet so sound this is where it kind of gets negative so over, i'm going to overlay the graph now so you can see and yes that bass roll off is real it's not just the coupler um bit disappointed with that i think you might might be able to mod um the, the, the there's a the vent for the dynamic to bring bring that up possibly i don't typically mod um iems to change the sound i let other people do that apart from the alina which is kind of a one-off um yeah so the bass roll off um it depends on what you your music is what you listen to but you're going to lose um music that sits in that part of the frequency response for my what i listen to um i didn't really like that roll off i prefer either more or a little bit elevated i don't like the roll off just just me again it depends on what your library is but yeah it's a shame really maybe you have to mod that up or not that's obviously up to you i did not try and eq these as well by the way so i'll leave that up to you a little bit a little bit disappointed with the low end which is a bit of a shame and yes yeah, so mids are very clean um they don't really stand out they're just clean but there's no they're not muddy or anything because it's basically um because of the it doesn't have any elevation from the base the same thing um i not really not really what i want i like, i don't mind a little bit of bleed because it gives you some body some warmth to it these don't have that um again it depends on your library but from what i i've tried this with a variety of different music and it didn't really suit what i tried with a you know with what i tried a little again a little bit disappointed i wish i had a bit more there as well and yet yeah, they do have you can see upper mid so vocals are more forward um, with intolerance, I wouldn't want it any more shouty because you know, like, I, that's my sensitive kind of part. It was okay. I say female vocals are for more than males, but obviously depends where they sit. So more of a female vocalist kind of I am. Nothing, no, nothing special. Just it's there. Again, it sounds quite clean. And yeah, so on to treble. Uh, it seems a pretty good extension. Which is good for for dynamic driver this price obviously it doesn't extend like the cca cra but that's kind of a fluke obviously different product and that's got way more low end this than this but the treble is okay everything is there if it has uh kind of good attack can sound thin at times which is not i prefer it not to sound thin but it is it is what it is really but yeah treble response is good I didn't really notice any sibilance again which is good um, and this pair for some reason doesn't have the uh, the resonance on the coupler again which is kind of cool and yeah treble performance was okay 
Um, I wouldn't class these as a neutral set. It sounds a little coloured, but they're not a they, uh, they're not a bad set really. So chapel performance is okay. A lot of a lot of this is okay, but um, yeah. So conclusion is really won't run too long with these. Do I recommend these? It depends on your library. They are a average set is a good way to say. For me, this isn't really what I like for tuning, but other people might. But yeah, they're not they're not a bad set, but they're not a great set. They kind of sit in the middle. But um, build quality again seems fine. Um, the fit may be the biggest problem with these being actually so small. Like I said earlier on, I was okay. My friend wasn't. So you have to bear that in mind. Again, it, there's no the non-ergonomic shape. They're just a small shape, obviously with just an angle, and that's it. But they're easy enough to power. Um, and yeah, they're, they're an okay set. They're, they're not a great set. They don't really stand out. Um, if it was for me, I would have tuned it a bit differently. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you know anything particular, please let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.